Did you know hermit crabs who cannot generate their own shells use the moon snail's old shells? Snails grow their shells continuously as they expand, spiraling outward over time. Hermit crabs, by contrast, have soft abdomens and can't grow a hard shell themselves. So they must find and move into a shell that's already made, which is often one from a snail, the shell queue. Hermit crabs are known to line up in order of shell size, like a shell renting queue. The top one in line tests a new shell, and if it fits better, moves in. Then the shell they vacated is passed down the line. Interestingly, crabs don't seem to kill snails to take shells. Instead, they move only into empty shell sequence of events. 1. The crab approaches and climbs the snail's shell. 2. The snail retracts into its shell and seals the opening using its operculum, a door-like structure. 3. The crab flips the shell over, probes the opening, but eventually gives up and walks away, clearly deciding the shell is off-limits. This interaction offers a rare glimpse into the shell selection behavior of hermit crabs and how they test if a shell is usable that IT also shows that hermit crabs respect a snail that's still alive and using its shell. That means they back off when the snail defends its home. This shows us how delicate and surprising marine interactions can be. Even a short, one-minute moment can tell us a lot about survival strategies.